How's it going, everyone? My name is Nari Sol. I'm a pianist composer. My roots are in classical music, but I enjoy exploring other genres and writing my own music. And in general, I love adding my own twist to things, which is what we'll be doing today to a Bach invention. We're going to take the one in D minor, and I'm going to create my own version of it based on some of the harmonic rhythmic and linear elements of the piece. Here are some of the details of this invention that I took notes on. First of all, it's in D minor. Here's the main motive, which you'll hear repeated in different forms. And like other Bach inventions, there are two independent voices that create the moving harmonies together. Also, I'm noticing the ongoing 16th notes that create momentum and the more punctual 8th notes that provide a bit more spine to the piece. What I'm going for with the piece is something lighthearted, buoyant, airy, whimsical almost like a fairy tale or something in a storybook. So now with these points in mind, I began elaborating on the basic structures of the piece to come up with this piano part. I found that as I was adding more notes, the general feel of the piece was becoming lighter instead of the opposite. I think it's because each note had lesser weight than before in the original. I was also trying to add these notes that sort of curl upwards for a more buoyant quality. And by adding more layers and chords in general, especially these jazz influenced seventh chords, I think the piece has a warmer quality to it in general. Now let's move on to the creation of my virtual ensemble, which will serve as my backing track. I'm choosing to go a few extra steps beyond recording just piano because I'm inspired quite a bit by technology recently, specifically using sample libraries and virtual instruments, that sort of thing. For the last few months, I've been learning more about MIDI programming, using Cubase, and just learning more about production in general. and. This has seeped into many areas of my work and it sparked new ideas because I essentially have more things in my toolbox and this is one of them. Usually I'll just stop at a piano version, but this time I programmed something that I'll be using as a virtual accompaniment, I guess, as I'm recording the piano part. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> All right, so here are my tracks that I've been working with so far. Some are recorded directly from the keyboard and some are using virtual instruments. So here, first, organ. And I also added harpsichord. And then this bell-like synth. Yeah, why not? And then two roads. Very friendly. And then the stuff high on top, two glockenspiels, and one piano. And then of course the strings, which I'm having difficulty programming. I'm actually using two different libraries and this is just sort of a hack solution, uh, but maybe it'll work, I'm not sure. We will see. We will see. And then just a little horn and low synth. So while I was programming this, I actually had this piano playing, which I will mute when I record the real piano. So that is more or less how everything sounds. Let me just play it all together. So 
that's the gist of it. I think the high pitched sounds like the glockenspiel, high piano, and the strings, of course, really add to this fairy tale, storybook like quality. So I'm going to be able to record the piano part at the Village Studios in the Moroccan room. Thank you so much, Jeff, for allowing me to use the space. I'm super excited because this is not only an iconic location, it's just a studio filled with such great history and I know the piano there is amazing. The sound of the space is really, really great and I know that by recording the piano part, this piece will really come to life rather than having everything programmed. Yeah, I believe, uh... well. The Eric Clapton's Tears in Heaven was recorded here. I think I, I like the Oscar Peterson piano. Oh, what? <laughs> Just a quick additional note on how this idea came about. I am partially influenced by composers out there from the past and present that have taken box works and created their own versions of it or transcriptions, that sort of thing, or any work for that matter. Many composers have dialogues with each other, and this is a common thing, I think, especially with older traditional music, and I really love that. Also, on top of that, it's just fun to take a piece of music that you already know and just make it original by adding your own twist to it and taking these lines to different places and, and trying things out. What I tell myself is, why not? Just, let's just try it. So that was behind how this started and we're just gonna see where it goes. Yeah, let's do it. Good thing the piece is short. Otherwise we... I'm gonna start off by playing Bach's original invention in D minor. And now my final version of the piece. <laughs> you guys are the stars. Yeah. Overall, I really enjoyed this experience. I liked how I started off with one thing that I really didn't envision would turn into the final piece. So I just took it one step at a time. If I were to do this again, I might record the piano part first and then program around it because I think although it was fun to play with the backing track, it was pretty difficult to fit everything into what was pre-programmed. Other than that, 
I really enjoyed it. I especially loved recording at the village. Thank you so much again, and thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Also, thank you so much to all of my patrons on Patreon for your continued support. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you all enjoy this and see you all soon. By the way, if you enjoyed this, you may also want to check out some other videos that I've done involving Bach's music, such as my How to Sound Like Bach video, the genius behind Bach's Goldberg Variations Canons video, or my Making New Music with Old Music video, among several others.